How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on effort, and specifically, the importance of effort on our self-development journey. When we have ceased to make effort, we can say that we are now psychologically asleep and just drifting through life. Although for many of us, it may seem that we are not drifting because we are being active in the world, but if we are so identified and so immersed in worldly pursuits that we forget everything relating to our inner journey, we can say that we are just drifting. Our inner journey depends on conscious effort. It depends on us constantly remembering our work and the aim that we have created for ourselves. We must constantly remember why we have even embarked on our self-development journey in the first place. In order to really remember we need to be in touch and active in our three main centers. This remembrance must touch us deeply. It must move us. If we simply remember our inner work with our intellectual center, this is just a small part of us. But if we are going to change something about ourselves, it is represented and embedded on all levels. So we must also remember on all levels. Let's take working on not becoming negative which is an essential aspect to our work, we need to remember to make the right effort at the right time. This is all part of proper self-observation. In properly observing ourselves, we can come to see and then later remember how certain things trigger us. We can then learn to make the proper efforts to not identify before it's too late and we are lost in a depressed mood or expressing our unconscious negativity. It's so easy to be negative and this is why we constantly need to remember and reinvigorate our inner work because it can take a while to really come to a point where we dislike being negative and we practically see the value and importance of our work of freeing us from these low states. For example, let's take self-pity. Self-pity is one of the worst ways in which people unconsciously indulge in negativity and many don't see how they now even enjoy it. In self-pity, you feel as if you are owed something. And if you feel like this, you will never begin to really work on yourself. To begin work on yourself, you must clearly see your situation, that something isn't right with you. Because we are always certain that others are wrong, but don't sense how we are wrong. When we clearly see that we react to life in the same way over and over, it may give us a momentary shock. We then need to make an effort to go against our mechanical tendencies that keep us stuck where we are. We need to become conscious and notice all the various ways in which we behave mechanically. Next time, notice what you think and feel when someone cuts you off in traffic. Observe it clearly. Try to make a memory of it by remembering the unique inner taste it left and see what happens next time the same situation happens. See if you can remain conscious and not react. All effort we do consciously feeds our level of being. Our being is what gives our life meaning. And feeding our being, we will lift ourselves to a higher level, which will give our life more meaning. Your level of being also attracts your life. So if your level of being changes, your life will also change. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out by hitting the thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and don't keep me a secret. Share with someone who might find my content valuable. If you need some helpful pointers on your journey, check out my playlist, Essential Self-Development. And if you like to read articles, check out my website, freedomfromthenown.com. All right, guys, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. And until next time, take care. Peace.